place when there's a bucket on your head. Nor is it wise to steal a bike from a police station. These aren't exactly the wisest criminals in the world. Whether it's grandma to the rescue, a Facebook felon, or a dancing male thief. Thanks to the beauty of technology, we're blessed with security cameras to capture these moments and many more laughable ones just like them. So sit back, grab the popcorn, and let's take a look at some of the stupidest things ever caught on camera. To kick off our strange criminal catching journey, let's head over to Washington, D.C. It was here during the lead up to Christmas of 2018 in the Georgetown area that the so-called dancing porch pirate decided to put on a show for the cameras. As you can see, wearing a thick blue jacket that covers pretty much everything except for his face, the thief casually walks up to the front porch of somebody's house. His intention? To steal the packages left on the doorstep. It's not a quick snatch and run ploy though. He takes his time, and he appears to be having a little bit of fun while doing so. Busting out the dance moves. The perp then grabs the boxes, gets into his black Range Rover, and drives off. It all happened in broad daylight as well. After ABC News spoke with the victim, funnily enough, she said that the thief actually didn't make off with anything of significant value. However, he did steal a self-help book. Ironic, isn't it? Package theft is actually at an all-time high. According to researchers at the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, close to 1.7 million packages are stolen or lost every single day in the U.S. alone. Imagine that you're just chilling on the beach and you go for a quick walk and you come back to find somebody trying to dismantle your beach tent. What would you do? Confront the thieves? Call the cops? Well, it happened to this guy, and the way he reacts is absolute gold. Check it out. He confronts the two thieves and asks if they need any help, before revealing that everything they're trying to liberate, in fact, belongs to him. Obviously, the thieves decide to play dumb. Oh, this is yours? Oh, mine looks exactly like it. Oh, whoops a daisy. I'll just keep holding it while you film me. If you're caught red-handed, you'd probably just admit defeat and walk away, but this lady decides to get aggressive, pointing fingers and threatening to throw the dude's phone in the grass. Beach theft actually happens way more often than you think. Take Clearwater Beach in Florida, for example. On just one stretch of sand, from May to July of 2013, there were over 40 reports of stolen goods. That, of course, doesn't include the times where victims couldn't be bothered contacting the police. In April of 2019, a lonely man tried to rob a woman outside the 36 Chambers Martial Arts Studio in New Orleans. Little did the thief know, however, that the woman he was trying to rob was none other than Meredith Livingood, a martial arts veteran and instructor. Luckily for us, the whole thing was captured on local surveillance cameras. The criminal rode up to the studio and pretended like he was interested in taking a class. Since Meredith didn't have any printed flyers, she suggested that he log into their social media to check out the weekly schedule. Apparently, old mate's phone was dead, so Meredith used hers to show him where to look. What happened next? Well, see for yourself. And that, folks, is why you should never attempt to steal from a black belt. Next up, it's time for a touch of petty supermarket theft. People try to pocket small items like candy bars, mini alcohol bottles, and electronics all the time. But we've got to admit, this is the first time we've ever seen anybody steal an iron. It's not exactly ergonomic enough to be eloquently disguised under a shirt, and yet that is exactly what this woman tried to do. It was only about her time before the security guard noticed the giant bulge sticking out of her clothes. But wait, it gets better. After she removes the iron, she removes another one. And another one. In total, somehow, this silly shoplifter thought that she could get away with stuffing four fully-sized irons in her shirt. If we didn't see it with our very own eyes, we, we would never believe it. Alrighty, moving on. This furious-faced guy is Ronald Purley, a no-good thief. Not only was he caught on camera trying to rob Bellman's Jewelers in Manchester, New Hampshire back in April of 2013, but he was also recorded trying to, very strangely, dispose of the evidence. After he had pocketed a $3,200 diamond ring from the collection, the store clerk confronted him. What did he do next? Well, check it out for yourself. Yep, Purley swallowed it. Straight down the throat. Since it was all caught on surveillance video, the police were able to obtain a search warrant, take Pearlie to a nearby hospital, and x-ray him. And just as expected, the scans revealed a ring lodged in his stomach, which was all the proof they needed to charge him with felony theft and falsifying physical evidence. Let's rewind to February of 2011, when, armed with sledgehammers, a group of six robbers attempted to quick smash and grab at a jewelry and watch store in Northampton, England, which is right about here, in case you were wondering. Despite it being broad daylight, there were no police nearby, so the robbers assumed that they had a window of opportunity. Unfortunately for them, they failed to realize that Ann Timpson was walking nearby. She spotted the crime taking place and sprung into action, racing across the road to intervene, with nothing but a handbag for protection, and swatted at the robbers, forcing them to panic and scramble. One of them even fell off his escape bike. 
Here's the kicker. Ann Timpson, at the time, was 75 years old. Some newspapers gave the elderly woman the nickname Super Granny. And fair enough. Not all heroes wear capes, folks. Give this video a like if you were impressed, because we certainly were. For every successful burglary, there is about a hundred that fail miserably. Let's hop on over to sunny Townsville in Queensland, Australia, where one thief did everything right. Well, almost everything. The man had parked his car out front of the Ingham Road service station with a relatively simple plan. Break in, connect a chain from the in-store ATM to his car, and drive away. Using a slab of concrete and a sledgehammer, the thief managed to smash out a pane of glass, giving him access to the store. Once inside, he successfully tied one end of the chain around the ATM. The plan was almost foolproof. He would use the force of the car to rip the ATM out of the ground and drag it behind him into the night. There was, however, one glaring issue. He had forgotten to connect the chain properly to his car. Once he realized his monumental mess-up, he attempted to repark, start all over. Only this time, he ended up with the car further away from the chain. Humiliated and defeated, the man simply gave up and drove away. Most people would say that any type of stealing is dumb, but if there's one place that you really don't want to steal from, it's a police station. Apparently, 26-year-old Adam Vale, a lowly Oregon bike thief, didn't get the message. If there's any place guaranteed to have security cameras rolling, it's a cop shop. The footage from the police station in Gladstone was captured in late December of 2018 and, well, okay, see for yourself. Just as Vale, disguised in a hood and mask, attempts to cut the bike's lock with a pair of large bolt cutters, a plainclothes officer spots him and hastily intervenes. In less than 30 seconds, the officer had a taser pointed in Adam's direction, and, well, that was the end of that. Just as police stations will always have surveillance, so will banks. So if you're planning on robbing one, you better make sure to do it right, because they will have you on camera. Check this guy out. He approached the counter and made his threat. Wasting no time, the staff tripped the alarm, and the protective barrier immediately falls between the tellers and the thief. With no way of accessing the money, Mr. Criminal decides to cut his losses and make a run for it. However, there is one giant obstacle in his way, the front door. Try as he might, he is unable to open it. It appears as though he has accepted defeat. At this point, there's nothing he can do except wait for the police to rock up. But then, his knight in shining armor appears. An elderly woman opens the door, pushing it from the outside. Uh, hot tip. If you're planning on robbing a bank, it's best to understand if you're dealing with a push door or a pull door. Those things can be mighty tricky. While we're dishing out advice, here's another piece to take note of. When you're knee-deep in a burglary in somebody else's home, don't log on to your Facebook account on their personal computer. Yup, you bet we're going somewhere with this. Our next crime wasn't caught on camera, but it was caught on Facebook in Dakota City, south of Minneapolis, back in 2014. Nick Wig had broken into the home of James Wood, stealing cash, a checkbook, credit cards, keys, and a watch. When James came home the next day, he found that his front door was unlocked and the window and screen had been removed. But that's not all. He also, bizarrely enough, found another man logged into Facebook on his very own laptop. Crime and social media aren't the best combination, folks. Don't go anywhere just yet, folks, because we've got a quick bonus entry coming your way. Over in Slidell, Louisiana, which is located right about here, in case you weren't paying attention in geography, police released this hilarious footage. Check it out. Some burglars wear masks, while others opt for balaclavas. Either way, the point is for the faces to be covered while still being able to see where they're going. For then 23-year-old Richard Baudreau, when he broke into the seafood business that he used to work at to steal some money from the registers, his disguise of choice was, are you ready for this? A good old five-gallon bucket. Here's the obvious problem, not that we've tried it ourselves, but we imagine that it would be pretty hard to see where you're going when there's a bucket on your head, not to mention the struggle to breathe. This proved to be his downfall. When Bordreau slightly lifted the bucket in order to see where he was going, that's when the surveillance cameras caught him. Checkmate. Next time, put a little bit more planning into it, okay? Now that you've seen all of these thieves in action, tell us, which of them do you think is the dumbest? Have you ever been witness to someone stealing something? What did you do? What was it like? Let us know. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thanks for checking out the richest. Stay safe out there, folks. We'll see you next time.